Hi, this is Thomas from the Litchi Slicer team and today I would like to talk to you about something quite important is how you can rescale a model in Litchi Slicer which already has supports. Uh, right now I have on my screen uh, a 3D model created by Scene Nerds and uh, which comes with supports. This model has been pre-supported by the Atlas 3D support solution team, uh, which is creating pre-support for a lot, a lot of 3D models and for all the major patrons. And it's good for miniature, but I like printing big files, big models. I prefer bigger models than just miniatures. Let's say figurines. This is what I want to do. And now it's it's very common to just download models which are ready to be printed, like that, with support and the 3D model. But if you want to change the scales, it's quite easy to do that in Litchi Slicer. Then in the layout section, I can select the scale tool. And in the setting, let me switch from millimeter to percentage. And let's go for... 150%. Okay, then now the scale uh, changed. My model is quite bigger than before. As you can see, my support are still here and let's say available. All the tips keep the, uh, the original position. However, if you look at the base, there is some deformations. Okay, the base just stay in their current position. To fix something like that, you just go in the support section and you can select all the support by doing a click and drag or control A uh, for the shortcut. And if you do right click on top of one of the supports, you can just select the recalculate support function or Alt R. And as you can see, Litchi Slicer recomputed everything. This model is quite easy, but it really works with very, very complex model with a lot, a lot of support. But you need to keep in mind that just rescaling and updating the support may not be enough based on your model. Then it's quite important to go around and see if everything is okay. Okay, and no, not everything is okay. You see this support is going through the boot, the leg, and something is wrong like that, okay? Uh, it may happen based, of course, on the, let's say, the geometry of the 3D model and the existing supports. Then you may have to fix a few supports like this one. To do that, simply select this support and doing a click and drag, and like that you can very quickly move the base and then reposition the support. If you just go around and looking at the model, it may look fine. Uh -uh, no, not really. You see here, these two supports are intersecting this type of bolts and, and screw here. Let me just select it. And in the uh, settings of uh, the supports, in the global tab, which is the default one when you have the free version of Litchi Slicer, you have the tip length. If you increase this tip length, you will see like that yeah, that you are increasing, you see the length of both the base and the tip here, which will just move everything far from the model. You do that for the, the other support, same thing. I'm moving like that and it's done. Of course, if you have the pro version of Litchi Slicer, you can select one support, pressing the space bar or clicking on the advanced mode, selecting the support and then moving like this if you want the support and having a better control on your model. See like that. This is another way to fix. But whatever the version of Litchi Slicer that you have, you can choose just to modify the slider or using this advanced mode. I'm pressing back the space bar and now it's fine. Another point to consider is also looking at some of these supports. You see for the TIFF, there is very, very thin support, which were totally fine when it was at the size of a miniature. But since you increase the size of your 3D model, it's quite bigger. And then perhaps the tip may be too thin. And if I'm selecting this tip, you see the value for the tip diameter is 0.19 millimeter, which is quite thin. Then if I'm using the shift key and selecting all these supports, I can increase now the tip diameter to be slightly bigger. Okay, uh, let's say you can do the same thing for the ear like that and increasing like that the size. Okay, uh, it's important to keep that in mind because your model is bigger now. It means that when your 3D printer will peel each layer, the one after the others, the size of your model will be, of course, bigger. There is more resin, more surface to peel. And then if your support are not thick enough or there is not enough support, then perhaps you need to increase the density of supports. You may have some failure or support tips which may break.
Okay, then just to summarize, you can increase the size in the layout section by using the scale tool. After that, you select all your supports, you do a right click, and then you can recalculate all your supports. Of course, it's working on a single support or on a multi selection of support. And then after that, just look around if you need to modify some support by changing some parameters like the tip diameter or why not the global diameter. And of course, perhaps increasing the density or adding few support if needed to give more strength to your 3D print. Then I hope this video has been uh, very helpful for you. Then feel free to test all of these operations on your own models, on pre-support models, by changing, increasing or reducing the size of your 3D model. Uh, of course, as usual, follow us on social medias, on Twitter, Instagram, or join our Facebook group, which is very active, or the best, join our Discord server, where you can uh, exchange with the whole team of Litchi Slicer. And what is the most important? Happy 3D printing! Bye-bye!